Vanessa. Now we are late to the party and Netflix is just slinging trailers, behind the scenes featurettes, everything they can for The Dark Crystal, but they had me with that first trailer a while back. Yeah, we're almost getting to the tip of the iceberg essentially and this is coming up very soon so I'm looking forward to seeing what we can see for more with The Dark Crystal because they're bringing back the puppeteering, they're bringing back the, the, the practical effects for it, as well as uh, allowing the technology of today also be a part of it too. Of course. So the mesh of both of them uh, will be really interesting to see. And a huge cast as well. Right. So let's take a look at what Netflix has in store for us for The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Now. Resistance. Throb. At its center. The crystal of truth. The source of all life. <laughs> yes. The Skeksis have corrupted it. Skeksis. No! And now our world is at risk from the darkening. What is the darkening? Like in the music. Show you. Behold. Did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> it's time. time. Time to come together. We read too many stories. No, this was real! Who would believe you? Everything the Skeksis ever told us was a lie. And now everyone. It's so much quicker here. Is it risk? Man. <laughs> Join me! So we may finally unite as one against our true foe, the Skeksis. We are eternal! Yes! The sun's <laughs> peaches. Yes! <laughs> the screen. But I have hope. Loving the music tonight, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, someone goes down. Precious. It's like a movie that's gonna be cut up into different parts. Yeah. Look at that. Splitting the darkness. Revealing your destiny. I don't think anything will ever be like it was again. No. It will be better. Yeah. Hope! Yeah. Come on. I love it. Every single time they throw that at the end. <laughs> Chamberlain, man, I love it. And the fact that it's Simon Pegg uh, oh gosh, is even funny. better, of course. Yeah. Uh, hell of a cast. Hell of a visually stunning epic. Uh, I'm, I'm not huge when it comes to fantasy films, but damn, do I love what they have in store for us here with The Dark Crystal. I think that, that too, it... it it re resonates a little bit in the darker aspects of it. And I think for me personally, understanding that the fact that you love Willow, I feel like this has a lot of that like magical sense of it in the Dark Crystal as well. Like it feels the same, like it could be in the same universe. Right, because it doesn't feel Lord of the Rings. It does feel a little bit more fantastical. Now that's the thing is I'm not a huge fan of Lord of the Rings just because there's a hell of a lot of people. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people. Uh, and granted, yes, there are a lot of people in Willow as well, but that's what I love about this. That's what makes it feel otherworldly is because there aren't people. They're all characters. They're all different beings. Uh, all the way from Fizzgig up to Chamberlain. It doesn't matter. Everybody is different. And getting to see all the different modes for tra transportation that we have. Uh, don't have to just rely on the Striders. You've got more beings in this universe that we're going to get to shed uh, a little bit of light on. That we're going to get to see to build the lore. Uh, and that makes me happy because and, it's something new. Right, and even though it is kind of a prequel to the Dark Crystal movie, right. I hope that they do add new characters 
that you kind of feel for because you're like, oh, well, they're not in the other movie, so something must have right. gone wrong with them or they disappeared or something right. happened to them. So coming, kind of showing exactly what the world was before everything happened in The Dark Crystal will be interesting and they can make it a bigger world. And then after this, I'm, uh, that would be kind of great to see like what happens next after the movie of Dark Crystal. Yeah, because I'm wondering if they are planning on connecting it to the Dark Crystal, uh, things are not going to go so well in this world. And like I said, they'll be better. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets any better, before eventually we get the unification um, that does end up taking place in the Dark Crystal. Or are we ever going to jump forward in there? Who, what has happened in that world? Um, granted, it, yeah, it does end on a final note. There is a lot of finality in that first Dark Crystal movie to where I could see where it's kind of hard to go from there, and that's why they had to take a step in the, the past. Right. But either way, I'm looking forward to finding out, and I cannot wait to eventually watch The Dark Crystal. Age of Resistance. So thank you so much for watching our reaction to the new trailer for Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. What did you guys think of it? Let us know down in the comments below. Are you excited for it as much as we are? Just the technology alone is getting me excited to check it out, lay my eyes on it. But tell us what you thought down there. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking ginger and know where they are. Kick into the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Gets us where we need to go. September 14th, we will be at the Tempe Improv in Phoenix, Arizona. Tempe, Arizona, battling it out in all the schmodown glory live on stage against the Wild Bears. Wild Bears. Wild Berries, and you can get the tickets to that show if you live in the area in the description of this video, or you can watch the live stream as it happens also from the description of this video. But thank you guys so much, and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. And this party is over. Bye. Bye.